Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and today we're going to rank the top cray cray signs of the zodiac. Oh, yeah, let's do it. We're going to have some fun today. I figure we'll do one of these little list videos and <laughs> do the horoscopes tomorrow. All right, here we go, guys. So let's see what I wrote. <laughs> it's been, I, I don't know. I wrote this last week. Let's see. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny. And today we're going to rank the craziest zodiac signs. All right, we got this going on. So for today, anyways, these are the guys who are mental bananas, right? The guys who are crazy, mental bananas, cray cray, and completely checked out. These are not the assholes, speed freaks, or generally stupid. <laughs> Everybody cool? All right, everybody's cool. Leave your own list and comments in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Number four craziest signs of the zodiac. Well, to be surely nuts, surely nuts. Oh, that's got to be a typo. <laughs> well, to be truly not so bananas, you kind of have to have multiple personalities. And both of the dual signs make it on the list today with ease. Number four is a zodiac sign you should never trust, and they are way over the top, sexy, smart, seductive, and completely schizophrenic. <laughs> and that's Gemini. Oh yeah, number four, Gemini. Yes, at the best of times, Gemini will spin your head with complete changes in directions. They are always on the go, always talking to someone, and although they are not as outright flirty as Libra, they have just as many friends. So be warned. Where did it work? Okay. Gemini is also one of the top two sex signs of the Zodiac. So if she goes bad, which they always do, you're probably going to be trapped in some kind of weird sex thing. All right, whatever. Number four most cray-cray sign of the Zodiac with a lot of personal experience, Gemini. All right. Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? All right, here we go next. So the number three, I didn't overly expand this today because there's a little astrology to this and not, uh, not all of the signs are actually cray-cray technically. I, oh, I guess I explained it. Here we go. The number three most mental banana zodiac is definitely loony, moody, and usually detached from reality. Astrologically, they're always moving between the shore and the water. So maybe they get confused. <laughs> and that's number three, Cancer. Yeah, seriously. Oh, here we go. Actually, there are a number of astrological placements that point towards a mental disturbance. Uh, you know, there you go. And many of them involve aspects with the moon. As Cancer's ruling planet, it was obvious that they'd make the list. <laughs> Now, um, in all fairness, not all cancers are OJ crazy, but all cancers have a hidden side to them uh, that most of them know is there, but more often than not, they don't face it. They, uh, they all can communicate with it through feelings, often allowing it to come out through expressions of art. So if crab isn't painting, they're probably planning a murder-suicide. <laughs> there you go. Number three, blame it on the moon, cancer. All right, chugging along. Did any of that make sense, Sonny? I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, number three, cancer. Number two has a reputation of being a little bit different. But that doesn't make you, that doesn't necessarily make you cray-cray just being a different. These guys are not dual nature. Actually, they're quite flip fixed. <laughs> they're, they're, they're quite stubborn. There's no heavy moon influence. There are no mercury problems, right? Those are all thinking things in the zodiac. There's no, uh, we'll leave it at that. Okay. And if I brought up the nodes, oh, I was going to bring up the nodes. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be stretching. Oh, you knew what you were going to say, Sadie. Okay, I get it. Okay, so what's the deal? Okay, here we go. Number two, da -na -na -na, cray cray sign of the zodiac, Aquarius. Yep, it's always the ones you never expect, unless you guys kind of expected Aquarius. Again, leave it, you listen in the comment section. These guys are not assholes, and they are not doing it on purpose. They are mental. Guys, Aquarius, Aquarians are ruled by Uranus. These guys, at the best of times, normalize outside of the box thinking. At the best of times. Yes, Aqua is super pretty. Yes, they are really, really smart. 
yes, they are awesome in the sack, and yes, they are effing crazy. Number two craziest sign of the Zodiac, Aquarius. All right, here we go. Final one. Place your bets. Number one mental banana sign of the Zodiac. This one should kind of be pretty easy. Remember, it's not, it's not Scorpio. It's not, it's not Aries. Those guys are assholes. It's not like Leo. He's lazy. He's <laughs> just showing off, right? The Sagittarius is not weird. They're just fast. So, like, here we go. The number one mental banana, and I... Yeah, I was going to list cancer twice to be an asshole, but I did it. But I did it. This is for real. The number one mental banana sign of the Zodiac is a water sign. That is so cray-cray, I wanted to rank him twice. Okay, listen up. Cancer is loony because of the moon. The crabs all the very dark and not so side to them. Scorpios can be assholes, but they are not crazy. At worst, Scorpios are like... Vague. <laughs> okay. All right, next. No, the number one cray-cray sign of the Zodiac is ruled by Neptune, which is the planet responsible for illusions, dreams, enchantments, right, enchantments, and stuff that generally doesn't exist. <laughs> and that's Pisces. Now, before everyone goes all anti-Pisces, just remember, most of the cray-cray stuff is what makes Pisces special. Pisces brings romantic fantasy to the table along with ethereal healing and divine understanding. So there you go. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. Oh, hey, Sonny, before you go, can you give us an example of Pisces being cray-cray? Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Let's look in the comment section. A Pisces once asked me if longer hair uh, helps. Is it better if you have longer hair to pick up on psychic frequencies? All right. <laughs> okay. Like that? I don't know if you guys... Are, what's cray-cray is not actually the question. What's cray-cray is right now, there are a bunch, of, a bunch of Pisces who are sitting here watching this video who are like, yeah, Sonny, you didn't know that? That's obvious. <laughs> that's, anyways, that's the action, man. Number one, most cray-cray crying in the Zodiac. Dearest Pisces. And that's the action man wishing everyone an absolutely amazing day from the sunny side. Please subscribe to the channel, donate to the channel, tune into one of the live streams, and obviously check out the horoscopes. And that's the action from the sunny side. Dot that I'm slightly wishing everyone the best of an amazing day. Get out there and have some fun, guys. And I'll see you guys soon.